Hey guys, Kat Com here with Studio Sweat On Demand and I am here with trainer Brian. Hey guys. And recently, trainer Brian had an injury. I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes we get questions about whether or not you should train with an injury. And I know this might be a boring answer and a simple answer, but sometimes those are the best ones. Mm -hmm. And the answer is, it depends. So in my case, uh, I was snowboarding and I'm not an expert uh, shredder. <laughs> and uh, I forgot that for a moment. I forgot that I wasn't very good and I thought I was 20 years younger and I got a lot of speed and I thought, I'm rocking this. I was a half hour into the first day, and next thing I know, my snowboard's over my head. I got my <laughs> arm outstretched, which is the worst thing to do when you're gonna wreck on a snowboard. You're supposed to tuck. I did the opposite. I went spread eagle. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> Superman, and the first thing to hit was my rib cage, and uh, yeah. it felt really awful uh, to the point where somebody, you know, kind of swooshed up next to me and said, Are you all right, dude? So, um, oh, I thought it was I like a 70 year old woman. What's that? I thought it was. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> no, sorry. No. Okay, I thought it was. No. For some uh, but anyway, uh, so I wasn't quite all right. In my and, version, it was like yeah. a little old lady, like on her yeah. skis, like on her ski walker. Are you okay? <laughs> no. Okay, anyways, anyway, get back to um, no, and I wasn't all right. And as it turns out, uh, I fractured a, a few ribs. Uh, so I, I did uh, continue to snowboard for the next couple of days uh, in snowshoe. Maybe not the smartest thing, but I didn't really know how injured I was until the following week. Got it checked out, and uh, turns out I did have fractured ribs. And my first question was, well, what about working out? And the textbook answer was, you shouldn't do anything for two weeks, and it's going to take six weeks to heal, and you need to do it right, or you're going to take set yourself back. Now, should I have just listened to that verbatim? Your, your opinion? You, I guess I'm here, so I have to give my opinion. Yeah. But I, I, here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> okay, so all I hear this all the time. People will come in to me and they'll say, "Hey, Kat, my my doctor said that I can't work out for same thing like six weeks." And I'll be like, "But you hurt your elbow. Like, right. why can't you? Why did your doctor tell you you can't work out because you tapped your elbow? Like, does that mean you can't do a lunge or a squat or?" why couldn't you jog like you know and right. and granted i'm on this i'm one of those moms that's like oh you're fine come on let's go you know yeah. so i'm gonna say that but oftentimes doctors will be very conservative and they'll tell you you can't work out at all when you injure one part of your body that does not affect the other now i'm always going to suggest yeah that you check with your doctor but we're also going to give you the freedom to question your doctor on why if they tell you you can't work out at all. Seriously ask, what's the risk? Right. Because that's what I ask my doctor because I've been told the same thing. You know, I get a little uppity about this <laughs> because I don't understand why if someone hurts their elbow, a doctor would give them the advice to not work out Right, to at not all. keep active. Because unless I'm mistaken, there's a lot of healing that comes from working out and stoking your immune system and getting your, you know, your just your blood flowing. And so why would a physical, a, you know, a professional, a medical healthcare provider tell you to not work out at all? Yeah, I mean, look, I and mean, we know there's a difference in injuries, right? There's yeah. a difference between a, an owie and a boo-boo and a fractured tibia, right? Sure. But. If you got a boo boo, suck it up, Buttercup. If you got something in between, like Kat said, ask what you can do. Yeah. So, what are the risks? What are the risks? So now, my... if they tell you, yeah. Sorry, I touched the mic. That's I right. know that's bad. If they tell you, it, honestly, like this one time, I was like, "What are the risks?" And the doctor said, "Blindness." And I went, "I guess I'm not working out." Like, <laughs> right. I mean, that's a serious risk, sure. right? And so, and and the reason was because if you get your blood, uh, if you get your heart rate over a certain level. Um, on your blood pressure goes up, it can you know cause certain impacts, this or that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, touche. However, that's often not the case. You won't know unless you ask. So don't just take like the easy road. Oh, doctor said I couldn't work out. I guess it's I like can't. When, when, when women get pregnant, oh, guess I should eat this gallon ice cream. All right, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no, 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 and no. So in my case, I happen to know the physician who examined me and he said, look, my textbook answer is don't do anything for two weeks. I know you're not gonna do that. So here's my advice. Do things that don't hurt. He said, your ribs are not Pretty displaced. Advice, yeah. Your ribs are not displaced. You're not gonna do any more damage. Now, if you do something that hurts, 
then you could risk damaging it. So try it with lightweight. If it hurts, don't do it. So it's three and a half weeks later, I still can't lift anything over my head. Mm -hmm. Now, even though yes, this morning, yeah. he told me he was going to do a barbell workout. And I said, well, don't do overhead presses, right? He goes, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to just do some. And I'm like, I said I was going to push through it. And you said, no, you're not. Because that's a bad idea. Yeah. I mean, your doctor did tell you. Now, yeah. he also said don't work out. But it, it, that is common and great advice. If it hurts in a bad way, don't do it. I right. mean, clearly. But, but if I'm on the spin bike seated mm -hmm. and it doesn't even hurt to sit, moving my legs is not going to hurt. So yeah. uh, I've been teaching a lot from the saddle over the past three and a half weeks, minimal standing. And if I do want my class to stand and it hurts for me, I'll just sit. So I'm just listening to my body and I think I'm healing on, you know, in yeah. line with my expectations. I got a few more weeks to go. It's gotten a lot better. I haven't damaged it more. And I've worked out probably a little bit less than normal, but I'm still getting my activities in four or five days a yeah, week. Yeah, why completely still, stop? Exactly, there's gotta be some middle ground. It can't be binary yes or no, so. Yeah, that's, that's our opinions, okay? That's yeah. just our opinions. I'm actually interested in hearing your opinions, and I would like to hear if you are one of those people who a doctor has told, or, or a healthcare provider, okay? Not just a doctor, a healthcare provider has said don't work out when maybe that wasn't the, best answer but it was the textbook answer and I'd also on the flip side love to hear from any healthcare providers out there that want to give me their opinion on this subject as well even if it doesn't match mine it's right. okay it's okay so so non-dr. Brian non-dr. cat that's, that's us. us okay but this You're is how you. we feel about it. <laughs> but question Right. Question it when and, you're told something like that. Don't just accept that answer. And, and by the way, the reason we're saying this is not because we want you to get hurt or more injured. It's because we not. want you to stay healthy. Right. You've worked so hard to get to, for, to where you are. You've yeah. developed your routine. Fitness is part of your life. So to just stop that dead when there might be other alternatives is just the thing that we want you to think about. Yeah, exactly. For those body sculpting, fat torching, non-injury making workouts, <laughs> make sure you check out Studio, Studio Sweat, Sweat On, on Demand. Demand.